Hello guys, today I want to show you an example how you can call artisan commands from the web, from the browser, based on example of backup package by Spati transformed into a web page with Livewire. And this comes from the open source project called Genealogy, and I had a few videos about that already, and I will have a few more, but this example kind of fascinated me. So the author created a specific page for manual backups based on the package. So Spati Backup is a well-known package, and here it is on GitHub, and all you need to do to backup your database in this case, for example, only one artisan command backup run after you configure all the package where to store that backup and how to notify you and stuff like that and you can automate that of course and that is recommended but you may want to on top of that to have ability for manual backups potentially by people who are not technical so they log into some admin panel and create a new backup so i want to show you how it works in the code and why it doesn't work for me and how to call artisan commands properly with catching the exceptions so if i click new backup i have new backup was saved but it wasn't actually saved in the disk now let's see what i mean in the code so in the code of that project it's only one route to the live wire component but it could be laravel controller it's not about live wire so the component with a lot of comments how to configure the package but it's mostly about configuring the backup package not this live wire component and then the main thing happens in here create function of live wire component which calls artisan command the same thing that i've shown you from github so my first tip in this video did you know that you can call artisan commands like this from wherever in your laravel project and then you can have output and then store that output in the log or something like that so here's the code you can see on the screen now the problem is let me actually show you the log so log info should have contained the information and that was debugging in other places so that is irrelevant what is relevant is this dump process so backup process failed with non-successful exit code and the actual error is mysql dump command not found so that laravel backup package is relying on mysql dump for mysql database which is not installed on my computer because it's a new macbook and i didn't have time to install mysql dump because i never needed that frankly so here's the actual log information that was sent by this line log info backup manually backup started starting dumping and then backup failed so this is artisan output from here so you have all the information from artisan command that was in the terminal if you run that command in the terminal you just see that in the log but the problem is that in this case that command is interpreted as successful so try catch didn't work it was supposed to fail here and then do backup failed like this and this is what you need to understand about artisan commands calling them from the code every artisan call returns exit code so you need to assign that to a variable and then that exit code should be zero if it's not zero then some error happened in the laravel docs one of the sections is about programmatically executing commands and this is the example artisan call mail send in this case exit code and that exit code contains success or not so if you want to try catch the artisan command this way you don't need to do try catch because it wouldn't work. There's no exception on Laravel level or on PHP level. The error comes from the terminal, so you need to check exit code. So that should be transformed, for example, into if exit code does not equal zero, then something like this, and then probably return. Let's try this one. So if we refresh the page, we click new backup and then backup undefined variable. E, of course, there's no E. Let's just store backup failed. Like this, backup failed for whatever reason. Refresh, new backup and then backup failed. So this should be the check for exit code. And just to make sure that it works when the exit code is zero, let's change that artisan command to, for example, artisan about, which would just show the information is kind of harmless. 
So refresh, new backup, new backup was saved, which means exit code was zero. So yeah, this video is not that much about backup, but about artisan commands with this example that you can call them programmatically, but you need to check not only artisan output, but artisan exit code for zero or not zero, whether it's successful. Do you have any other examples of calling artisan commands like this? What artisan commands are you calling? For what cases? Share your experiences with other colleague developers in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.